So in, in the previous lessons on PaintPot, I, I showed how to build a basic painting program where the user can change colors um, and draw dots and draw lines, um, can make the dots smaller or bigger by clicking on buttons. Kind of a simple user interface, but you know, kind of shows you the power that you have with App Inventor. You know, so now I want to show you, you know, a couple things. One is let's let's make the canvas have a picture background so we can actually draw on somebody's face or that kind of thing. And then I'll also show you how to how to use a camera so the user can take a picture and then draw on that picture. Okay, so let's start back over here in the designer. And what I want to do first is just change the canvas background. Okay, I can add pictures down here in the media box or I can add them kind of directly for the property I want to change. In this case I want to change the background image of the canvas. So I'm going to click add, browse, and I'm just going to use the the hello per kitty from a previous tutorial. And my background for my paint program will now change to the to the cat. And at least in, in the emulator it kind of got rid of our drawings, but uh, you know we can redraw and let's just draw some sunglasses for the kitty, something like that. Okay, so my drawing program is a little more fun, but you know, now the next thing I want to do is I want to make it so the user can can take pictures and then draw on the pictures they take. So if I go over to media, there's this camera component, and I'm going to stick that in. And so now I've got a camera component, and I also need a button um, to take a picture. So I'm going to go back up to the basic area and basically when the user clicks this button the idea is they'll be able to they'll be able to take a picture so the the camera will open up and I don't want to stick it there I'm going to put it down below and I'll put just some text take picture for the button and I'm going to rename the button to the take picture button so I can distinguish it in the blocks editor Okay, so I've got my button, I've got a camera, which is a non-visible component. Okay, non-visible meaning it doesn't show up in the user interface. I'll come back over here and I'm going to just give us some room by kind of hiding some of these event handlers. And the first thing I want to do is grab that take picture button. And when I click that button, what I want to do is let the user take a picture. Okay, it's really easy. I'm just going to go over to camera and grab the take picture block. And so now when the user clicks on the take picture button, the camera will open up and allow them to take a, take a picture. Okay, I'm running on the emulator, so this is not going to work. Um, I'll just click on take picture and nothing, nothing happens. But if you run this on your phone, well, oh, actually I guess the emulator has a kind of a fake camera that doesn't really work. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to force that to close. So I'm back back here. So when you when the user clicks this button, the camera will, will open up. Okay. Once they take a picture, you can catch this event. And the event's called after picture. So this block, you're gonna put blocks in here to, to do whatever you want to happen after they take a picture. And it even tells you the image, the picture they've taken. So I click on my camera button. I take a picture with the Android camera or my device camera and then this block gets called and I can use the image that it that it just took. In this case, you know, all I really want to do is I want to grab my canvas and I want to set its background. Okay. So I want to say camera or canvas dot background image. I want to set it and in fact I'm going to set it to image and remember we don't grab these event parameters from here we go to my definitions and if you scroll down um, well not scroll down here it is it just grab the image block right the value image okay so now if you try this app on your phone you click take picture the camera will open up you take your picture and you know, since I'm running the emulator, that happens. But if you run it on your phone, the picture you just took will show up instead of the kitty, and you can draw on that. 